ETSU celebrated the opening of the new Gordon Ball Court located inside ETSU's practice facility. Ball, an East Tennessee State graduate, class of 1970, never forgot his roots in Johnson City. ETSU's president, Brian Nolan, voiced the appreciation of the entire ETSU family. We're going to do big things as an institution in the next 6 to 12 to 18 to 24 months. This room began that process to facilities transformation, programmatic transformation, and ultimately to conference championships and Sweet 16 appearances. Because the hard work that these two front rows put in day to day, not only on the court and in the classroom, will lay the foundation for success down the road. Ball, a Knoxville attorney and partner at law firm Ball and Scott, recently honored for that substantial financial gift, got his law degree at the University of Memphis, always was a big basketball fan, and befriended head coach Murray Bartow. Coach Bartow talked about the transformation from the West Auxiliary Gym into the new practice facility and how that will help men's and women's basketball in the future. Before, the after, I think back six months ago into this place and wasn't the most aesthetically pleasing place and court was not great, walls were banged up, but now you come in here and it's just amazing what the hard work of so many people did. Shows commitment. When we bring, when Karen or her staff or myself or my staff, when we bring recruits in here, it's big. It's big because it's going to give us an edge. It's going to give us an advantage. And with some other schools, it might at least put us on the same level playing field. Depends who we're recruiting against. But it could be a level field or maybe we could have an edge, but it's going to be big in recruiting. And obviously that's very it's obvious that's very critical to our success. Dr. Brian Nolan and Murray Bartow help unveil Gordon Ball Court. Gordon talked about the discussions he had with Coach Bartow and Brian Nolan about the practice facility. But I, my mind does not work that way. So about a year ago, we were having a discussion with Dr. Nolan and Murray in Knoxville. We were talking about the practice facility and the idea of actually building a practice facility inside the dome. And I've been to the dome. And, and Dr. Nolan and I thought, well, that's just a crazy idea. I mean, why, why would you waste your money? Why, why don't you go out and build an entire new facility? Just save your money. But Ray Jones, you've done something that I couldn't believe anybody could do. This is fantastic. It really is. Let me say, I want to thank Dr. Nolan, Dave Mullins, Tom Scott, Scott Wagers. Without Scott Wagers, I probably wouldn't be standing here right now. And my friend, Murray Bartow. Baugh continued to talk about what it was like for him in public education, what it means to give back, and a message to those student athletes. I truly believe, and I'm talking to the student athletes today, not us older folks, but I truly believe that public education is the lifeblood of this country. And without public education, I wouldn't be standing here. My parents couldn't have afforded college. That other mindset says, public education has helped me, and when I get mine, and, and I will, then I'm going to look back and see those people coming through the door and I'm going to help them. And I hope that you're like that. I hope I'm like that. I know the Dave Mullinses, the Dr. Nolans, and the Murray Bartos of this university are like that. And you are so fortunate to be playing for them and being around these people. So, and if I can ever do anything to help East Tennessee State, I will. Thank you for having me. Reporting from Johnson City, I'm Jay Sandoz, Buccaneer Sports Network.